New developments tonight in an ongoing nine investigation. A former post office worker accused of having pipe bombs now faces federal charges. This is Derek Johnson. He's a convicted felon who police say threatened to blow up Fort Mill High School. Channel 9's crime reporter Hunter Sines broke that story last year, and tonight he explains that this case just got much more serious. Derek Johnson's troubles started in state court, but they've made their way here to federal court where he's officially been charged. And now he faces decades in prison if convicted. We first told you about Derek Antoine Johnson last year. It's crazy. When bomb squad members moved in on his apartment off Nations Ford Road in South Charlotte. Inside, newly unsealed warrants say investigators found two pipe bomb type explosive devices, a Glock 45 9mm pistol, a 30 round capacity magazine fully loaded, other loaded magazines, a bag of assorted screws, and more, including a handwritten demand note that appeared to be intended to be given to a victim during a bank or business robbery. Authorities in York County, South Carolina, say days before Johnson had called in a bomb threat to Fort Mill High School. It's terrifying. That's Tiffany Alexander with the Charlotte chapter of the American Postal Workers Union. We spoke with her because, as we first told you, Johnson was a USPS worker hired just two weeks before his arrest. It's um, really scary to know that we had someone in our facilities um, access to mail, access to um, our vehicles. Among Johnson's charges was having a weapon of mass destruction, but those local charges were all dismissed by the DA because now he's been federally charged with possession of a firearm by a felon and two counts of possession of a firearm not registered in the National Firearms Registration for allegedly having explosive devices. Alexander is just glad authorities took it all seriously. Everybody's a little bit safer um, with this man off the streets. Tiffany Alexander told me she still doesn't understand how Derek Johnson could have gotten a job with USPS in the first place, knowing about a previous burglary conviction. But last time I spoke with USPS, I was told that just because you have a criminal conviction is not an automatic reason to deny someone a job with them. If convicted on all counts, Johnson faces up to 35 years in prison. At the Federal Courthouse, Hunter Signs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.